All right, so without further ado, I'd like to hand it over to Bob and Doug for comments. All right, um, we're not going to stand right now. For those of you who have done this before, you know it's not pleasant standing for a few hours after you get back. Five hours ago, we were bobbing around in the Gulf of Mexico, so I feel like it's pretty good that we got this far in five hours. But uh, I think the, the biggest thing that we would both like to talk about is just to thank... Uh, you can see Steve and Kathy here and, and Elon. You know, this has been a uh, quite an odyssey the last five, six, seven, eight years, five years since Bob and I started uh, working on this program. And to be where we are now, the first crewed flight of uh, Dragon is just unbelievable. Uh, we've said it before, just a tremendous privilege to be part of this program, to be part of NASA and to spend two months on uh, the International Space Station with uh, one of the greatest uh, uh, officers, crewmates, astronauts, Chris Cassidy. It just was a, a, a real pleasure for both of us. And I'm sure Bob will talk about the spacewalks, but that just to see those two work uh, out on the International Space Station, you're not going to see anything like that again. It just was, uh, it was just amazing to be part of that. And then, you know, the flight of uh, Dragon on Falcon, and then the reentry today. It's uh, it's a lot to process. As I said five hours ago, we were in a spaceship bobbing around, making prank satellite phone calls to whoever we could get a hold of, which was kind of fun, by the way. You can send him the bill for the sat phone. Uh, but anyway, we we really appreciate uh, all of you uh, coming to say hi and welcoming us back. It's uh, it's a little bit overwhelming to, to, to see everybody here, considering the things that have gone on the last few months since we've been off planet. But uh, thank you again for coming to say hi, and, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to share a lot of this mission with you uh, in a few months, hopefully, if not sooner. But uh, thank you again. Well, first of all, thank you for everybody who, who came out today. I know with all the challenges, everybody's wearing a mask uh, with the situation that we're in. It's uh, not trivial to get this many people here to try to be close and celebrate what we've accomplished. I think uh, for both Doug and I, the thing that we're most excited about having accomplished with this mission is, you know, it's written right on that sign where it says uh, Launch America and then, of course, Land America today. Uh, as we went through our years as astronauts here at the Johnson Space Center, uh, we got to live through a, a, a big chunk of the shuttle era and uh, a big chunk of the assembly of the space station. Uh, when the space shuttles uh, retired, when Doug took his uh, final flight uh, to wrap that up, I think it was a sad day for us in the astronauts because there's something special about having that capability to launch and, and bring your own astronauts home and uh, uh, we went through a lot of years without that capability, and I think we're both super, super proud to have been just a small part of the team that uh, accomplished bringing those space flights back to the Florida coast and bringing that capability back to America. As uh, Doug mentioned, uh, we had the luxury of having uh, just a, a super crew on board the International Space Station with Chris Cassidy, with Anatoly and Yvonne. Uh, they just took uh, wonderful care of us uh, I can't think of anything that we could have had more uh, in place and ready for us when we arrived than uh, what Chris set up for us. And so we're, we're extremely thankful for him and his work to make things look easy for us. You know, we didn't have the full training template that was out there. We had uh, an abbreviated flow and, and got to take advantage of uh, an opportunity, if you will, to try to uh, take care of Space Station as we accomplish this test mission. And so uh, I, I think we're both really proud of that and happy that it didn't become a distraction. We were able to accomplish the test mission objectives and work through those, kind of get Dragon certified in, in some sense uh, to be ready for our return home when the time came to do that. And so it's, uh, it all just worked out wonderfully. And so uh, today when we got the wake-up calls from our boys, uh, telling us a little bit about what they were looking forward to, uh, which was us coming home, and uh, in Theo's case, getting a new dog. Uh, 
it, it was it was a wonderful morning, and we very much appreciated it. And so, again, uh, I think this kind of comes full circle. It took years to get here. We brought the capability back to America, and we came home safely to our families. And it took a lot of people a lot of time to make that happen. And so, to Kathy, thank you for that. Of course, you had Steve as your right-hand man for the most recent history, at least. And uh, we definitely really appreciate the, the hard work that, that you all had to go through to ensure that the contractors, in this case uh, uh, the SpaceX team, really could understand NASA and what we needed to be able to have in place to have human spaceflight be safe in the way that we wanted to, to operate it. And I think for the SpaceX team, we couldn't have asked for a, a more wonderful team to work with. I think, uh, you know, we definitely are, are old dogs and uh, like some of our old tricks because it's not always because lazy. Sometimes it's because we did it before and uh, we know an easy solution and we try to share that with folks. And that's really as we go forward to uh, further activities, uh, whether it's in low Earth orbit to the moon or beyond, we need to figure out the best way to share what NASA knows with the contractor team and uh, help them be as successful as possible. And, and I think maybe we weren't there five or six years ago, of course, but by the time we launched and certainly by the time we returned, I think there was a, a very tight knit relationship between the SpaceX team and our NASA team. And we worked together to accomplish what we accomplished. So. With that, I, I just want to thank you all for coming out today and celebrating this, uh, this victory uh, with Doug and I and uh, recognize our small part of what was accomplished. Thank you all.